What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing a daily update on SafeMoon token. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to earn two free stocks with Vibble valued up to $1850, please check out that link in the description below. All you have to do is sign up for an account, deposit $100 and choose your free stocks. That's it. And let's start with the definition of this protocol. At the bottom of their homepage, you can find the most concise definition. The SafeMoon protocol is a community-driven fair launch DeFi token. Three simple functions occur during each trade – reflection, LP acquisition and burn. And uh, as usual, let's continue with their official Twitter page. For now, they have more than 400,000 followers and they added, uh, since I made my previous video, more than 12,000 followers and the velocity is still mind-blowing. And let's start one by one with the tweets that I didn't cover yesterday. This tweet was published 19 hours ago and in my opinion it is the most important tweet in today's video. Because this person, he is a CEO of a Binance Exchange and he told that if a coin has a large number of users, we will list it and it is a quote right here. And basically this means, in case that SafeMoon will prove that uh, it has a huge uh, number of users and very meaningful numbers of uh, its total market cap, Binance will list it on their platform. And uh, this news is very, very good for the SafeMoon token. Next tweets, just random tweets about uh, tokenomics, about uh, holding of uh, this uh, coin, nothing special. 11 hours ago they tweeted that merch is back and uh, you also can buy this merch with official logos on it. And 6 hours ago we see the link on a Twitch and it was a AMA, ask me anything. And here is the summary of this AMA session. We are on a Reddit Safe Moon thread and right here some bullets about this session. First of all, AMA in 4. New exchanges will be in the nearest future. Uh, hit 4 billion market cap. Certic Audit almost uh, done their research. Uh, for now it is most viral cryptocurrency in the planet. For their exchange they raised uh, more than $880,000 during the week and it is a total amount. 41% of the total amount has been burned in the last 50 days. Nobody owns 50% of the SafeMoon tokens. And they've already built amazing relationships with different companies, exchange and coins. Next information about exchanges and uh, you can read it by yourself. And uh, let's continue with their live Q&A session. Let me quote you this. Price prediction for the next years. Won't answer those questions since there is a, absolutely no way of knowing this. And I'm 100% agreed with this uh, opinion because nobody knows what will be the next, what will be the next movement. And uh, all of my technical analysis is based on the technical data that I have for now and uh, it is not 100% guaranteed. That's why you have to be extremely cautious. Next bullet is a little bit concerning. What's the end game of this coin? And it is two words, Operation Phoenix. And uh, as far as I know, nobody knows what does it mean. And this might be, from the one hand, it is very exciting, but from the other hand, it is uh, a little bit scary. And here we can see the spoiler of Operation Phoenix, and it says, Safe Moon will be the fuel for the freedom of the unbanked. And it's a very interesting statement, but for now it is too early to rely on uh, this operation, because uh, in my opinion it is far, far away in the future. And uh, before we dive deep into the technical analysis itself, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So I made my previous video at this point and uh, my assumption was uh, that we might have uh, this uh, formation as a triangle and uh, triangle usually breaks to the upside. And with this breakdown, according to Elliott Wave theory, my suggestion was that we might hit uh, this resistance and uh, it is a previous support slash resistance. Right here it was a support level, here it is a resistance and we might hit it with the fifth wave and here was my Elliott wave breakdown. We have an internal third wave and uh, almost all green bars indicates that it is our third wave. And uh, right here we have a small wave uh, 
from the lowest point and my assumption was that uh, this is the first wave this is the second this entire structure is the third one right here you can see next retracement to the fourth wave and the fifth wave to be determined in the future but as you can see we hit lowest point with this retracement and for now we have this as our lowest point and in my opinion this is just a consolidation phase not from this entire structure uh, but from the entire structure of this retracement and uh, for now i think we have to switch again to our greater scale because uh, on a smaller scale we don't have enough confirmation with volume to prove that this wave was an impulsive wave and that's why this breakdown becomes less probable than the outcome than the general outcome for the retracement of entire structure and uh, let's switch again to the greater scale and for now we still have several key points first of all we have our lowest double bottom and uh, this level is 0 0.65 0 0.618 uh, the most probable level of trend reversal according to Elliott wave theory and uh, to measure this retracement I pulled the Fibonacci retracement tool from the bottom of entire structure because we've already finished all five waves in the in this uh, greater scale and uh, to project uh, the retracement I have to pull from the bottom to the top because uh, these five waves implies only first wave on a greater scale and uh, this gives us an opportunity to make a projections because we have we still have this as our two uh, major lowest points and that's why as long as this pivot holds the lowest point we might make a forecast for future targets and to do so i pull a fibonacci extension tool here it is from the bottom again from the bottom of entire structure because it is the bottom of the first wave on a greater scale to the to the top of uh, this wave and the third point at the bottom of the retracement and this is our main targets we have three targets first of all is at 1.618 uh, level and it is right here next one at one, at 2.618 level and the most aggressive one is uh, 3.618 level so from our current price we have about uh, 597 percent to our most aggressive target but for now it is uh, far far away and uh, the probability of hitting this target in neos future is about 10 percent not more than 10 percent next target is right here and uh, from our current price we have about uh, 420 percent and to our most conservative target we have about 250 percent so the probability of hitting this target by the price uh, is around 50 percent it is quite big probability but you have to be extremely cautious and follow three simple rules if you want to trade this asset first of all do not put the money that you are not willing to lose it is the most important rule and you have to always stick this rule and you have to always keep that in mind that you can lose the entire amount of your money second one do not go all in and this is because of the volatility this asset is extremely volatile and almost always you can ladder your buys down in order to have a more attractive average price and third one do not put stop loss close to your entry price and this is also because of the volatility you have to be in trade rather to be kicked out from the trade and let me remind you that these targets are legit until this pivot holds and it is very important if we go lower and break this pivot our targets will be invalidated and for now i think we still have a possibility to hit our resistance and uh, basically i don't have uh, much more information to add uh, to my technical analysis be because uh, we don't have new major pivot points even on a low on a lower scale with that being said please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and hit the like button this helps me a lot see you guys and girls next time bye